The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, in partnership with Seplat Petroleum Development, has flagged off the construction of 200-bed emergency infectious disease medical center in Olu area of Fimo State to serve the people of the South Tears to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking while flagging off the construction in Imo University Teaching Hospital in our local government area, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timipriya Silva, said the intervention initiative is in line with the presidential directive to curb the coronavirus pandemic. Chairman of Seplat Company, Brian Ojoako, said the event is a continuation of the third category of the intervention initiative, which is delivery of permanent medical infrastructure across the geopolitical zones of the nation. The intervention initiative is in alignment with the ongoing federal government effort to curb the pandemic through the presidential task force on COVID-19. And it's, it covers key thematic areas. A, the provision of medical consumables, B, the deployment of logistics and inpatient support system, and C, the delivery of medical infrastructure. The total commitment to this initiative amounts to 58 million US dollars. That is 21 billion naira. Out of which out of which 53% of the total sum is earmarked for the construction of permanent medical infrastructure across the geopolitical zones. In order to ensure transparency as one of the sites for the South East, and we're very happy that our company Settlers has participated in this. This is a project we're looking forward will be completed within record time. Be good budget, but more importantly, we are hoping that this will be a facility that will serve the Imo state people and environment and address the immediate problems of the corona pandemic, but as well as taking care of infectious diseases in this Imo state and environment. Uh, we are very happy to be working in Imo state and operating in Imo state. Uh, we have very many more plans. Uh, in addition to the gas plant that is uh, ABC Ojako has mentioned, we are also looking forward to establishing another modular refinery, uh, specifically a condenser refinery in Imo State. And we know this will come. Uh, the plants are on ground. We are also partnering with the same uh, SEPLA to make this to come to. In his remarks, the governor of Imo State, Hope Usadimba, expressed gratitude for the gesture while stating the readiness of his administration to ensure the state gets the required medical attention to combat the virus. This groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of a 200-bed emergency and infectious disease medical center. This project, sponsored by NMPC and SEPLA, will save lives and make our people healthier. When the coronavirus pandemic, otherwise known as COVID-19, broke out last year and finally hit Nigeria early this year, it came with a frightening bang. Suddenly, everyone was at a risk of a dreadful infectious disease that had no cure. Nigeria and the Imo states were not left out. Expectedly, the sudden outbreak of the corona monster jolted world and national leaders to a new normal to live with and prevent and contain a deadly infectious disease without cure. This new normal came with a lesson and a challenge. <laughs>